Okay, so for this video, I'm going to show you how to change one of the router bits from a router table. Your router is actually underneath here, and the very first step, and probably the most important, is to unplug the router table. So you're going to go and find the plug. Here it is. You're going to go pull it out. And it's actually really important just to make sure you have an eye on it at all times, just in case one of your friends sees it and goes, oh, I'll plug it in for you. That would end not well. So I'm just going to hide that in here so that no one is going to plug it in for me. All right, let's take this uh, router out of the router table. So we've now unplugged our router table, and now we're going to pop this router out of the table. So we're going to move our fence. We're going to reach underneath the table. We're going to pop this whole thing up. And now we're going to separate this from the Iron Man holder. We're going to flip this over to the side. There is a little uh, release, so we'll pull that towards you. This slides out. We'll set this aside for now. And now we'll need two wrenches to loosen this router bit off. So I've got my two wrenches. And we're going to take one wrench and we're going to put it down on the bottom. And that holds that wrench stable, or that holds this bit stable. If you didn't have that, you would be spinning forever. So, one down here. Then other one up on the top. Then what you want to do is squeeze. So I've loosened the nut. And we're going to bring that down. And what you'll notice is this actually tightens twice. So although it's got getting looser, we'll find that it actually got tighter here again, and that's a safety feature. So we'll loosen this up again. Squeeze. And then loosen this. It should be loose enough that you can pull the router bit out. And with any router bit, what you can see is there's the painted side, there's this painted side, and this uh, flat uh, silver side. You want to make sure that when you're putting the bit in, it's as low as possible so that uh, you want to have the, the green side exposed, um, but you also want to minimize the amount of silver that's exposed. So let's take a look. We'll change our rotor bit. Put it back. So again, I want to have this. That goes all the way in. And so if you push it all the way down, you'll, you'll start to cover the green, and that's no good. So I want to have a little bit of silver exposed. I just want to pause this video to take a moment to talk about more specifically how much of that silver part of the router bit should be exposed uh, and why uh, we set the router bit uh, in the router the way that we do. But before we do that, we need to take a moment and pause just to talk a little bit more about the parts of the router. So let's take a look. On the left is the photo of our router, and on the right is a cross section of the router. So what it would look like if we sliced our router in half. So starting from what we remember, up here and here, these are the router bits. The green part of the router is the cutter, which cuts the shape or the profile into the wood. The silver part that's being exposed here uh, and this silver part that's exposed, but also in here, that is the router bit shank. That's the part that we're talking about of how much silver is being exposed. Uh, the shank fits into uh, this here, which is the router shaft, the yellow router shaft, which is also down here in the photo. If you look very closely on the router shaft, you're going to notice that there are threads these are very similar to the threads that you might see on a bolt or a screw. And 
over here, and that's the blue thing over in the cross section, that is the nut. And the nut is what you tighten onto the threads so that you can lock the router bit to the router itself. Now, inside the cross section, which you can't see on this photo, is this brown thing. And this brown thing is called a collet. And essentially, this collet is a metal sleeve that wraps around the router bit, and its job is to clamp the router bit securely when the nut itself is tight. So now that we know more about the parts of the router, let's talk more about how you ensure the router bit is best put into the router. So if we look to the left over here, the very first step is to take your wrench and to loosen that nut. So you can sort of see some of these threads that are being exposed. And it should be loose enough that you can take the router bit and slide it into the router shaft without any problems. Red symbolizes the gap that gets smaller and smaller as you slide the router bit deeper into the shaft. So as you slide the router bit all the way down, you want to stop when the router bit is bottomed out. Essentially what that means is that you want to keep pushing down on the router bit until the router bit doesn't go down any further. Before you tighten the blue nut, what you want to do is you want to raise the router bit up so that there is about 1 16th of an inch or a three millimeter gap. This would leave about three quarters or one inch of the shank still in the shaft. Another way to think about it is essentially that you have three quarters to one inch of the silver part uh, tucked inside the router so that that's not being shown. Once you have that and you have that 1 16th of an inch of a gap, you want to tighten that nut. The reason why we want to leave that gap is that that gap allows the collet and the bit to be pulled down as the nut is tightened. This allows the collet to tighten properly. Now that we know how to tighten our router bit and we know um, how much of the silver should be exposed and why, let's continue on with the video. Just that much. Take your wrench, hold that in place, and now we're going to tighten. So we're going to go this way. You can actually start to use your finger first. Now I'm going to need my wrench. not going anywhere. Double check. There we go. And we'll put it back into the holder. So this goes inside and you just kind of jiggle it until it's fully seated. So this is pretty good. What you want to avoid is it's kind of sitting like this. There's some silver there. You want it fully seated. We're going to tighten this up. Watch your fingers. You know you've done a good job when this, this is together in one. Flip it back. At this point, you're going to set and raise and lower the height. You'll need this height adjuster and you kind of raise or lower it. And the reason why you want to do the height adjuster first is because when the fence covers over it, you may not be able to access your height adjustment. Once you've set your fence and you're ready to go, Plug the machine back in and uh, router away. 